All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's so nice to finally be to be able to sit down with the man with the plan himself, Mr. Michael Dukes. How are you, sir? I am wonderful, <laughs> and thank you for being here. We're so glad to be here. It's always a pleasure. It's All right. a pleasure to have you guys here because the kids love watching themselves on TV. You know, the, the Raider Brigade is just something in itself, okay? And so we want to talk about it. And we, this show is going to really show you the behind the scenes of the, of the Raider Brigade. We're used to just seeing them looking amazing, sounding amazing, their cadence. And this guy right here is going to share a little bit with us about some of the things with the band and things that you may didn't know. And he's, we're going to talk about that today and see some things. Is that all right? Absolutely. You know, a lot of parents don't understand that the final pop product that we put on the field it just doesn't happen overnight. Right. It's multiple hours of work, and the students are so incredible about putting their time in. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're putting five hours in every day, getting them ready for their, the heat, wearing that uniform, getting them uh, acclimated to the, the Georgia, right. you know. And, uh, boy, they're, they're just working great. So we're going to show you a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff. Well, good. We want to see that. And, you know, we, of course, your band is always 240, 250 strong. We're very blessed. Yes, we're <laughs> over 240 right now. And uh, we just we start them in the beginning, 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. We love on them, get them excited about being a part of the Raider Brigade. Yeah and then bring them up here to the high school and then we put it out there for the, the crowd to just love. And you know, Mr. Dukes, um, we say that number, mm -hmm. that is a huge number and it requires a lot of um, leadership, organization, oh, yeah. uh, so many different moving pieces in order to for the finished product to take place. Absolutely. That's now, right. now tell us what keeps you going? Now, what prepares you? Because you know, a lot of times we look at the leader all right, and how the leader's um, attitude is, you know, how the leader's energy is, right. and then there's somewhat a trickle-down effect. That's right. So what do you do to get yourself ready to be in the position that you're in? Oh, bless you. Well, the first thing, it comes from the heart, mm -hmm. you know, the passion of what we have, what we do, what God's put us in this place to be the band director. But a lot of it I give to my mentors, you know, Mr. Carlos Hand, mm -hmm. Mr. Stuart Stanley. These are two guys that I, I just cherish and look at, and they've taught me a lot over mm -hmm. the years watching them work. And so I'm just trying to keep that legacy going. I'm blessed to be here at West Lawrence for so many years, yeah. and I, every morning I get up and just thank God, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Mm -hmm. Let's go teach kids. But I want them to, to draw off my energy, right. because if you don't have the energy, the kids are gonna be lethargic. But if I can portray some energy and excitement, it's gonna feed off. I mean, right. I'm a coach, yeah. you know, in itself. I'm just not a band director, mm -hmm. I'm a music coach. And so, to me, if I can teach life skills, get them excited about mm -hmm. what they're doing here, and then give them opportunities to move on and, and reflect back, this is what I was able to do in high school, yeah. we're making memories. Absolutely you are. And you know, you're kind of spoiling them a little bit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're kind of spoiling them just a little bit. I mean, you're like a ball of energy. Oh, when, right. If you've never met this guy before, when you do, you're gonna have this expression. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That was like a human tornado. <laughs> and the thing is, there is a method, there's a method to your madness. You know, we've been talking about that because you all are the Raider Brigade. That's great. Tell us why you choose the leadership style that you choose with your band. Well, I'm very military based. I grew mm -hmm. up uh, with a military family. Right. And I think, you know, like America, you know, everything needs to be organized. And of course, our military is the, the, the security of our country. Mm -hmm. And so I'm teaching these kids about the military and how each entity is important from, uh, from section leaders to lieutenants to captains to majors. And each one have a, a specific, I have 30 leaders, mm -hmm. and we go through a, a really rigorous leadership camp and I bring in college professors in and they teach them how to deal with peer pressure and their job and what they're supposed to do. And listen, it's only three of us directors running 245 kids, wow. mm -hmm. you know, and so I need those kids. Yeah. And so with that in mind, if I can run this program very much like the military, hopefully we'll be very uh, detailed and specific. I'm a lister. Mm -hmm. The kids know that everything I do, there's there's a list. They're mm -hmm. like, Mr. Dukes, I need your list. And that way, you know, hopefully we've got a, a, a very tight ship mm -hmm. and the kids that know the expectations right. and they rise to the occasion. 
And the thing about that, too, is I'm listening to you. You probably got a little OCD in there to where you're very, you know, you <laughs> and not saying that as an, in a negative no, way, uh, yeah. because I know that when you're passionate about something, That's right. it comes out in the mm -hmm. way you operate. That's correct. And you definitely, you run this band out of a spirit of excellence. Bless you. Well, and, and that's what I want the kids to see. Uh, we as leaders, you know, we're teachers, we're music coaches, we're band directors. Mm -hmm. But these kids are looking at us as, as their mentors. Right. And, and my job here as a band director is not only just to put out a, a musical product, but it's to put out life skills. Mm -hmm. I want these kids when they leave West Lawrence to know how to live life mm -hmm. through being able to uh, run a business, right or know how to handle themselves in college, mm -hmm. to being the best mom and dad that you can be. Because these are important skills that some of the kids, we're so busy, parents are busy. You got mom, dad working, they come home, you know, the family time, everybody's wanna be rushed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, some of the, the values that right. they learn are, may not be happening in every home. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that all homes are that way, but right. some homes aren't. Mm -hmm. Well, that's our job here as coaches. We're teaching these kids how to live these life skills so that when they get out, they could come back 20 years from now, show me their little babies and then mm -hmm. say, Mr. Dukes, this is yeah. what you taught me. Absolutely. You're teaching them such a skill set. And you know, a lot of times when parents send their child off to the military, they send them sometimes to teach them discipline, That's to right. teach them how to um, learn how to respect right. someone and right. to be able to follow directions. And, right. and so you're teaching that within this brigade. Correct. Absolutely. So now, um, do you have auditions for the different sections? Or? We do, yes. They have to go through, a, a, the, the majors especially, they have to go through a, a rigorous program. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's about a six-week program that they go through. And then uh, once we narrow it down, I have outside uh, professionals to come in and help select those kids. Uh, the other officers have to go through essays, and they have to go through multiple question and answering. And I watch not only what they do during those interviews, mm -hmm. but what they're doing today. Right. It, it's a year-long process. I can tell you what kids do, whether they show up on time, mm -hmm. if they follow through with instructions, are they portraying the leadership that I expect them right. to mold and model for this, the kids that they're mm -hmm. working because they're being looked at. Right. They're going to mark the way that I expect kids to do. Right. And so this whole process then comes together and then we're a team. You know, um, the wheels on your bus are probably always turning. Absolutely. I say that because you have a lot of moving pieces. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of responsibility that does lie uh, on you or just a few people. Mm -hmm. And so, and you also have to have a good support system. Oh, yes. We have the greatest. <laughs> I have two awesome band director partners mm -hmm. and an incredible booster organization as yeah. well. I mean, the, we can't do this without the parental support, without our band director staff. Mm -hmm. also have a flag and dance uh, coach that comes in and helps mm -hmm. them with the girls do an, an awesome incredible job as well and I think you, you're gonna get some footage on them as well and, oh, yeah. and and it's just wonderful to see how we come together with our vision and work together for these kids you know it's not about Michael Dukes or Richard Horn or Erica, Erica Clyde it's about these students mm -hmm. you know I get these kids for the one year hopefully right. four years in high school right. and they're gone and so we're gonna give them the best opportunity here at Serrata Brigade and the hopefully memories forever of wonderful experiences. Yeah. And you know, absolutely. And you've been doing this for 20, how many years we've been talking 29th about? 29th year. 29th year. <laughs> Within those 29 years, yes. of course, what things have you changed or through the years that, that you've seen differently with the band or with the individuals? Because you know, a lot of times in those years, a lot has changed. Oh, yeah. And so what has changed with your style? and of teaching or, or things that you've had to tweak throughout well, the years? <clears throat> that's probably hard to say. Mm -hmm. I, I do that daily. Okay. I'm wanting to grow daily. I, I, I grab material, books. I call colleagues to say, how can I improve in this area? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I believe that leaders, you don't just stop learning. I mean, it's, it's it, day by day. If I go out right now and go and start working with the kids and see right. something's not working, then I'm gonna go research and find out what can I do to make those kids better? What mm -hmm. can I do to make me a better teacher? So it's really hard to say, you know, over the years, there's a lot of changes that I've made. Yeah. We all make mistakes. We all try to figure out what's best for the, for the mm -hmm. program. 
So, uh, but you know, the, the, the biggest thing I can say would be the technology. Yeah. I mean, when I first started teaching, we didn't have the computers we had today. I mean, it was uh, shoot from the hip, figure it out. <laughs> we didn't have the cell phones that kids has. We don't have the YouTubes. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, the, so the internet is a, a great valuable tool and I'm finding myself getting more comfortable with that. So I can get online and, and say, you know, type something in and say, you know, how can I improve in this area? Well, there's multiple and then I can watch and learn and say, that's what I need to do right there. Wow. So there's a lot of new, the kids today are blessed. They are. You know we can learn how to play the piano and guitar on our computers. Uh, it happens every day. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's it is. So, you know, th there's been a lot of changes down the years. Yeah. You know, and then teachers have been in the business as long as, as myself. They can, you know, they can attest to that. You know, we didn't have, <laughs> I mean, just even the behind the scenes making copies and getting things ready for kids. <laughs> I remember putting the little purple ink in going, <laughs> getting copies. <laughs> You know, you just crank. I cranked a little turn to get them copied. Now you can get on your, your computer and type what you need, hit a button, and it'll send a, a wireless feed to a, five minutes later, you can walk down in and go get your copies. I mean, wow. So you were cranking it. I was cranking them by then. <laughs> Absolutely. That is so hilarious. But that's right. So you've got these different um technological things that have made things a lot easier. Oh, absolutely, yes. And so let's talk about this camp. Yes. Talk about this camp. Let's talk about this camp because what we're going to do is we're going to go to the different sections so you can see uh, the students in their element uh, within the instruments that they play. And so uh, a lot of times now, we just see you guys. We don't know. Right. Right. What all you do. Oh, well, this week we're going from uh, 8 to 1 in the morning. And we go outside and get the kids used to the heat, get them hydrated and keep them, because, you know, they got to get used to the Georgia heat and get that big uniform on. It gets even hotter. Yeah. So we work them uh, pretty hard in the mornings, get their bodies mm -hmm. conditioned, learning the feet work. Uh, we do the, the block and the marching. Mm -hmm. And but we're also going into sectionals. And then I hire a lot of my colleagues. I've got the legends here this week. Yes, you do. Ch Mr. Stanley. Uh, Mr. Stanley. Mr. Hand. Oh, yeah, Mr. Cowart. Uh, all these guys are just phenomenal teachers and musicians to come in and help Michael Dukes and, and our staff. And anyway, we, we branch off into smaller groups, you know, and, and I, I basically explain it like football. You know, I played football when I was in high school, too. So, you know, you got your offensive line defense, uh, you got your special teams, you know. Well, we do the same with band. We have our brass, we have our woodwinds, we have our auxiliary. So we're getting all the, the, the teams branched off, we're learning the music, we're getting our muscles strong, we're getting our, our bodies and breathing ready and getting our mm -hmm. legs stretched and you know, all this going on. So we do this for about three hours. And then uh, as well as that, we're also taking care of the uniforms and getting equipment ready mm -hmm. because that's a lot of behind the scenes people don't see. Oh my goodness. And, and you know, no, we don't see it. But the thing is, we expect you to be a certain way. So if you've got expectations that are up to here and people put these expectations on you, you definitely have to work hard oh, yeah. to prepare yourself um, for a show. That's right, exactly. And multiple shows. We just don't do one show, but yeah. So you know, we got a lot of things happening right now. We have great volunteer parents that are uh, behind the scenes that are helping mm -hmm. us. and. It just can't do it by ourselves. Right. And we are so blessed here at West Lawrence to have great kids, great parents, and just great, great teachers. Our staff is yeah. just awesome. Travis's Professional Carpet Cleaning Services has been providing constant and quality carpet care for more than a decade. Call Travis's for expert cleaning and restoration of your carpet, tile, grout, upholstery, and more. Travis offers residential and commercial services in order to make your home or office a cleaner and healthier environment. Travis's Professional Carpet Cleaning Services, a leader in Lawrence and surrounding counties for more than a decade. Call now at 278-4373. As a parent of an, act, of an active child, of active children, it does require a lot of for the parents right. to be supportive. That's right, exactly. You know? And so how heavily do you depend on that and in what areas? Well, let me just say this. If you're a parent, your child's involved in activity, get involved. Yeah. I think too many parents are not getting involved with their children, not just in band, but anything in life. Mm -hmm. You know, God gives them to us for 18 years, basically. Yeah. 
and we let that slide by too quickly. Mm -hmm. Get involved with them, see what they're doing. When they see you there, it's gonna make their experience even better. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna love it more because you're getting involved in it. Then who knows, you're gonna lead your child even more you know, excited about what they're involved in because you're engaged in it mm -hmm. also. But our parent organization here, we are blessed with super parents, a lot of numbers, uh, and each one I have different committees that are working to help these kids mm -hmm. so that if a little bit's done by a lot, more's done, yeah. you know, and that's what's happening. And that is so good and that's so important that, and, and glad you made that public service announcement mm -hmm. about parents getting involved and, um, you know, so you talked about the uniforms. Yes, we uh, we do the uniforms real quick. Um, you know, each child has to be fitted. Everybody's bodies are different. So I have a group yes. of parents and also have lieutenants who are in charge of this, my student leaders also. Mm -hmm. They've been trained on what my expectations are, making sure everything's taken care of. Mm -hmm. There's a system that I have, and I'll just say it real quick. We have racks that are color-coded. Their uh, hangers have numbers on them. Those numbers correspond to the jacket and pants that we put inside. <laughs> and after every performance, we have those uniforms dry cleaned. So like last year, my budget was $19,000 that I spent just cleaning uniforms. That way, wow. they're, yeah, 19,000. <laughs> so that, you know, each performance, those kids feel and look special yes. because it's a clean pressed, just like military uh, right. uniform. I want them to look good and in doing so, you know, we, we buy these uniforms through our band uh, booster organization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You'll get more life out of those uniforms because your stitching's not dry rotting and you're, you're making sure that uh, the, the pieces are staying together. And then we can purchase, what I do is a rotation about every two to three years, I buy the same uniform uh, color and, and design, just do a rotation and mm -hmm. take some of the old out. I still have uniforms on stock now from 1996. Wow. But because you have the dry cleaning and the care and the way we run our system, you can save those mm -hmm. and it works. So you mean like one child who started off in the band, eighth, ninth grade, will have, can have the same uniform? Yes, or as a body changes, we'll have to change up. You again. know our bodies change. Yeah, <laughs> Absolutely. You know, and some kids, when they get taller, they may get wider. You know, you never know. So, but I keep a, you know, a, an inventory of multiple. I mean, we have over 350 jackets in stock right now just for sizes. That is fantastic. You know, and to see these parents back here, you know, you see the sewing machine. Sewing machine going they're in. knitting oh, away. I'm yeah. like, what in the world? Isn't that cool? Yeah, they're sitting there making sure we, we don't cut any material because we want to make sure we can take the stitching off and have it available for another child in the future. But they're back there working and getting the fitting. Like and busy handy. little bees. It is. They're <laughs> awesome. And they're in there every day this week. We should have all the uniforms completed by tomorrow, which will be the fifth day. And five days. Five you know. days. Every child will have their pants, jacket, hats, hemmed, ready to go. They've already been dry cleaned. They'll be on the hanger. And then next week I'll go through a, a training of how, and this is important parents also, yes. kids don't learn how to hang clothes. So I'm teaching them life exactly. skills. Right. So okay. they have to go through and practice how to put the hems together, drape over, put everything in so that hopefully they'll learn how to do it in their own home. Right. You know my motto at home is? What's that? No wire hangers. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Well, Amen. we appreciate those parents for all the work oh, that yes. they're doing Absolutely. to ensure. And you know what this does for the kids? It gives them a sense of pride. Amen. That's exactly right. And that's, uh, that's the whole point. We're working together as one, learning these skills, yeah. taking care of what is ours. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know, when you look good, you feel good. Absolutely. And when you know that you're supported. That's right. That's exactly right. That's why when you tell them, just so. You that's know, it. We do. It's... <laughs> We want them to look like a million dollars. That's exactly right. And they really do. You know, we're watching you outside when you're doing, tell us about some of the things that they were doing out on the field. I mean, you, you blow the whistle and you're telling them, just out, back straight. Right. Well, we want the, the look of the, uh, the, the straight, tall body, yeah. you know, and, and we do a lot of core muscle work. We do the buttocks have to be tucked in, the shoulders back, standing tall, yes. because we want that, that particular mm -hmm. and go back to military again. Absolutely. I mean, can you imagine what our country would be like now if the military were a bunch of wusses? Right. I mean, no, we have to be strong. And mm -hmm. I tell the girls, boys, I don't care. We're to be strong. We look mm -hmm. strong. We, we have to get that muscle ready. So I'm teaching them in a block. Mm -hmm. We have what to call it marching maneuvering block. Right. And that way I'm teaching them how to do the body posture, the feet, carry the equipment, how to look before I even get them uh, working on the drill and the formations mm -hmm. and 
and even making a sound on the field. Then I'll start working on the musical aspect of it, getting the muscle where they're for producing the airstream, buzzing their lips, getting the revibrating, moving the, the silks for the guard, and, and just everything together. But the thing is, we're all at one. We're, we're doing it together mm -hmm. so it looks like one unit. It's synchronized. It's so beautiful. Yes. And, you know, having been in a brigade before with the military, right. to see, I was watching you, and I'm like, that's just like the military. Amen. That's exactly and right. And, you know, uh, when you're talking about... Um, you know, keeping them uh, hydrated and things like that. Right. You know, a lot of times the military gives different instructions about not, you know, the lock, locking your knees right. and making you're sure that you're... That's right. You can't lock the knees. You have to make sure that uh, the, the, the blood flows, the oxygen is going through the body. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had some incidents already this week just for kids falling out. Day one had six to fall out. And uh, bless her heart, I had one that's in surgery last night right. because of uh, falling out, broke the jaw in eight places. Oh, wow. Yeah, and, and uh, of course, the coaches came in and said, hey, man, this is band. It's not football. And, they're, you know, they're cutting up with me. But bless yeah. her heart, um, we have to be real careful with the heat. And, mm -hmm. the way that, and, and that's why we do this. We're trying to get the kids used to it mm -hmm. and understand about the body and what you're supposed to do so that we can prevent things like this happening. And kids, please stay hydrated because, you know, with the heat index right. and being in those thick uniforms and, right. and, and having to move and, 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 and carry the heavy, the trumpet the trombone oh, oh, the, the big tubas. The tubas. oh yes oh yeah they're heavy uh the percussion especially some of our percussion 70 pounds and you're carrying that for two to three hours a day i probably wouldn't be able to be one of your band members oh yes you could oh yeah no i wouldn't i would complain no, probably what i'd be like mr dukes i'm parched <laughs> <laughs> I'm parched. You would, you would get in the mix with everybody, and you'd want to be just like what we expect. You'll do fine. You would, you would be awesome. Maybe 30 years ago, I think I would have. Well, done and, and of course, and, you know, our ages are a little, little more than these kids. But I get hot really quick. Well, now. we all do. <laughs> but you know, it's just so great to see them um, when you're giving these instructions, and they follow. Uh, they want to do it. Yeah. They do, and, and, and we, uh, we, we're sharpening their listening skills. We're, we play a game called Drill Down. Yes. And uh, so the kids are wanting to win. I give them a treat at the end of uh, whoever wins. Explain that. Explain well, that. what I'm doing is I'm giving them the commands of the marching of what we've taught, and they have to listen to them. And, and this is one of the life skills that I love. Mm -hmm. Not only are they making themselves stronger band members, but they're also listening because they have to, to think through every command I give, execute it, and if they mess up, they have to get out until we narrow it down to the top few and then we narrow Get it down that. To, the, to the very top person and they they challenge themselves you know when I say drill down they get excited yes I'm gonna be the winner today I'm gonna go get that hamburger Mr. Dukes is gonna buy me today you know so <laughs> is that oh, yeah. that's the incentive oh it is I, I'm gonna go get us a hamburger <laughs> nice. that's right so uh but the thing I love about it though Pat is not only here in band but they're gonna sharpen their listening skills when they get in the workforce you know, their boss says, do this, this, and this. They'll know what to do. Absolutely. And, you know, let's, let's do this sidebar. You know, extracurricular activities that teach these type of social and, and skill sets help them in the classroom. Oh, absolutely. Oh, I can tell you right now, the, the best grades in school belong into all these extracurricular activities. Mm -hmm. You know, and, of course, band, being my job, we have, I mean, you look at our, our top graduates, mm -hmm. most of them are, are band or athletes or people who do more than just go to school and go home, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. they're sharpening their mind. Yeah. They're keeping it busy. Mm -hmm. they're, they're learning. And that's mm -hmm. what makes a great kid. Absolutely. Oh, love, love. Now, tell us about this trailer that you have. Yeah. <laughs> we have two trailers. We have the, the blue one. We call that the Uniform Hydration Trailer. And we have sponsors who uh, put their names on the outside. And they, uh, they give a, a, a fee to have us to be able to... Uh, advertise. So all and those names down there. All those people. names down the side are people who've donated. Right. And that trailer I use to, to haul our uniforms each week to the cleaners. Mm -hmm. And then at each ball game, we have a hydration team of parents. And I take uh, 2,500 bottles of water and 60 gallons of Powerade to every performance so that the kids can stay hydrated. 
and you would think, wow, that's a lot of bottles. But when you have 245 kids, mm -hmm. that goes quick. Yeah. But the main thing is those parents work so hard. They're up there uh, getting the water to the kids, making sure they don't dehydrate. Mm -hmm. And we also have a team of, of special rags. We have a doctor friend of mine that made this little formula. We have a thousand rags that are in yeah. these coolers. And when you give them to the kids, when you put it on their face, it just cools them down for 30 minutes. It's unbelievable. Right. But we have that going on because it's hot. You I know? need a cooling rag right now. <laughs> you would love it. You would say, give me the formula. That is wonderful. Yes. And then, and, the, go ahead. And, and it's good that you're, you're looking out for the safety of these kids. Uh, yes, absolutely. That's what we're here for. Not only for the, the, the musical end of it, but right. our bodies. Right. I'm expecting the kids to do this. We have to make sure that they're taken care of. Right. And they have to be able to perform. They have to be up to par. That's exactly right. And it's wonderful that you, you're having all of these things taken care of. Oh, well, the parents are just awesome. You know. Kudos to the parents. They are incredible. And the big truck we have is our equipment truck, and we have the sponsors down the side. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the sponsors will uh, purchase uh, ads, and uh, it's just amazing. We put it in the parades going down mm -hmm. I-16. We have six away games. Uh, the advertisement that they have, but I have a team of uh, as our master sergeant sergeant student leaders mm -hmm. with their loading crew, and I go through and, and train them. This is where I want everything to go, and so now they take over, and that's part of that training leadership mm -hmm. we went to. So those kids know what our expectations are. They go do it. I just sit back and watch them, and they're just awesome. I mean, they're just like the sharpest knives in the drawer. They just take care of business. And so once we do all this training, that's why leadership's important. Mm -hmm. You know, like the military, you've got your general, these guys, all your military have expectations mm -hmm. just like ours. And they, they rise to the occasion. Such great skills you teach. So, you know, normally people buy ads for um, a magazine or for a booklet, but right. you have an 18 wheeler. So that's a little bit. <laughs> oh, it's, but you think about <laughs> it, awesome. it's going up and down the road. That is awesome. People are looking at it. And I've had, I've had business people who are on the, have ads will call me and say, somebody saw your truck on I-16 <laughs> and contacted my business for, and I said, well, look at there, you're getting more for what you've done buying that ad for the truck. That is we, wonderful. We also put that truck at every home game up on the hill with lights so that our mm -hmm. fans can see the ads as well. So, I mean, it's, it's great advertisement. Mm -hmm. It is. It really is. And then you have the horse. The Raider horse, yeah. Kylie Baggett is our, uh, our rider. She is awesome. She's already getting the, the horse trained. She'll be out next week. She's going to start coming in. We're fixing to go out and learn the pregame and get the, uh, the drill and the music ready for that for her to bring her horse, and we can practice that as well, get the, get the excitement wow, going. Wow, that is wonderful. And you guys have a lot of fun stuff planned this oh, year. Share do. with us a little bit about that. Well, we're doing our first show we're doing is uh, the uh, vinyl radio mm. Ra excuse me, Vinyl Record Radio Classics, what I'm calling it. And I uh, did a little research on, or a lot of research, on what were the biggest sales of the records. Who'd you find out what? Uh, what now? Who were the biggest sales? For? Oh, this is what's amazing. Tennessee Waltz was one of the biggest country ones from the 50s. Mm -hmm. 50 million records sold. In the 50s. In the 50s, right. So in, in the way I write the shows, I want to hit all aspects of all the audience. You know, and the kids pick on me sometimes, and, and the staff laugh at me, like, we're going to play some of that old music. Well, you know, I'm in my 50s, mm -hmm. and so most of the parents are going to be at the football games will be my age. You'll have a few grandparents who are a little younger. Well, I like to hit the music that right. they can remember. And so Tennessee Waltz, and I'm going into Kansas, Carry On Wayward Son, Journey. Oh, yeah, Journey, Don't Stop Believing, Any Way You Want. That's it. Believe. See, and so when we're playing that, the parents are going to be in there going, yeah, hey, baby, you remember what we were doing? Yeah. We were at that dance that night. You know, they're having fun remembering. Mm -hmm. Conga. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, there you go. Celebration, cooling the gang. And then we're going to do an Earth, Wind, and Fire Getaway September. So, you know, so we've hit. Remember? That's it. All the different. <laughs> yeah, come on now. I'm telling you, I know music. I'm not a musician, but I know music because as a, a creative artist, and I see what you're doing is you're teaching them, you're giving them history lessons. Absolutely. And we talk about that. Why do these uh, songs get developed? Who were the artists? Mm -hmm. You know, what made them big? Because you never know. We may have some kids in the band one day that may be one of those mm -hmm. musicians making it big. And, you know, and what makes them great musicians 
by you teaching these lessons, let me relate this to um, as far as actors, you're doing a script analysis. Exactly right. You're exactly right. So you're helping them to understand exactly what they're playing, what that genre was like, right. why that song was popular, what it actually means. That's exactly right. Yes, we do all that. That way that when they're playing it, they can have a little better feeling of what the artist was trying to create. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's tough, like you do in Kansas, they were guitar heroes. And to try to get the brass and the woodwinds to mimic that sound. Mm. And then finally it clicks, the kids go, hey, I'm doing the lead guitar part, yeah. you know, or they'll say, this is the bass part. Yeah. They get excited and start thinking about it. Man, I know what part, because they'll go YouTube and listen mm -hmm. to the artist. Mm -hmm. And of course, I let them uh, see it in house here in the school. And then they'll start relating. Hey, do you know we're playing that part of the song? And it's in, I'm playing that part. They love it. They love it. I saw one of, you know, one of the band members had on a Pink Floyd t-shirt. I'm like, you weren't even born. <laughs> but that's fantastic. Yeah. And so, you know, we're so pleased and proud of the work that you all are doing and um, the different things that you have going on. Uh, we know you represent the community very well. I think the community is very important to us. You know, a lot of, we live, we're the county school, but we shop in Dublin. I think we need to support everything of Dublin, Lawrence County. You know, we're a team of community, and I think if we can bring something to the plate to, in the community to make them feel happy and excited, yeah. that's what we're here for. So, mm -hmm. you know, please call on us. We're here to help in any way we can. Absolutely. Well, it's been a pleasure. Now, we're going to go to the different parts okay. of the band, and I'm going to probably, like, let them teach me a few things. Sure, absolutely. Indoors. Oh, wow. No, now, you want to go outdoors? Unless you've got a hydrating towel for me <laughs> and something for me to sip on. There you go. I'm staying inside. I, I understand. <laughs> No problem. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Mr. Michael Dukes here, the band director for the Raider Brigade. We're going to now go into different features so that you can see them in their element. And, of course, you're going to see them when they're center stage this season. Ladies and gentlemen, the Raider Brigade. Landmark Cafe and Market is located in the historical skyscraper in downtown Dublin and is open Monday to Friday, 10 to 3. Enjoy freshly made specialty salads, sandwiches, paninis and wraps along with Landmark Cafe's delicious side items. Everything is freshly made including an assortment of bakery goods. Landmark Cafe will provide corporate deliveries of 10 or more entrees. Call 277-0160 for your deliveries and takeouts. Enjoy a fresh and healthy meal with your friends and co-workers at Landmark Cafe and Market, located on the first floor of the historical skyscraper in downtown Dublin. We hope to see you soon. Hi everyone and welcome. We're here on the campus of the West Lawrence Raiders and we're here for the Raider Brigade Band Camp. Say hi everyone. Hi. Don't you love that unison? We're here with the dance, the dance line, and also we've got the majorettes with us. You girls are doing all right? Yes, yes ma'am. Now listen, it's been wonderful watching you all. So what we want to do is we want you to kind of, some of you introduce yourself to everyone out there and let's talk a little bit about how this camp has been going. We'll start with you, young lady. Um, hey, my name is Latanya Boston. I'm going, I'm a junior, and I've been dancing for 11 years, but I've this is my third year on dance line and very good. Now, do you have a specialty? Is there a certain dance style or genre that you're more more inclined to do outside of this? Hip hop. Re really? Yes, ma'am. Little booty shaking. <laughs> That's my thing. I mean, you know, I actually, I'm, I love to dance, but I'm not what you call a good dancer. You know, <laughs> I might after this let you all teach me just a few moves. Okay, is that cool? Yes, ma'am. I mean, the geriatric version, nothing like <laughs> as advanced as you all are doing. All right, your turn, darling. My name is Bailey Parker. I'm in the 12th grade. I've been dancing on Dance Time for three years, and my parents are Amy Lowry and Brad Lowry. Very good. Now, you all, have, you've been dancing together. So when you're dancing together for such a long time, mm -hmm. you kind of know how one another, you know, works and operates, right? Mm -hmm. Now, um, who's the captain? Is there a captain of this ship? No captains. She's missing. She's missing in action. <laughs> missing in action. All right, young lady. 
How are you? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Introduce yourself, please. Um, I'm Abby Woodard. I've been the majorette for three years. I'm a senior. You're a senior. So you girls have been working together for a while. Now, I would like to talk to some of you all. Anybody want to introduce themselves back there? All right. Not, <laughs> so many hands at once. But we know. tell us about who your, who your sponsor is, and let's talk a little bit about the camp. So who wants to go first? We'll let you start since everybody's raise, raising their hand at one time. What are you all working on? Um, we're working on the routine for football for the um, halftime show. Now, before you go to before you come to camp, do you already kind of prepare yourself for camp and for the season? Yes, ma'am. What things do you do? As far as just dancing, um, we. Let me, let me put it this way. Now, any time that you want to be good at something, right, or to be great at something, it's very important that you do things outside of the camp. That's mm -hmm. what I'm asking. So do you do things outside of the camp to prepare yourself for the season? Yes. Tootie and I, we're both on, we dance on G-Rhythm with G-Rhythms Performing Arts Center. Oh, there you go. With, very good. That's with a Gilda wonderful. Lloyd. Gilda, she's a good friend. And Laura good. Carswell. Now, so you've been dancing for a very long time? I've been dancing since I was 13. So I started kind of late compared to Tootie. <laughs> and what is, your, what is your favorite style of dance? I like jazz. Jazz, very mm -hmm. good. All right now, darling. I want to ask you all this. You all, some of the dance and just watching you all dance and watching you perform, some of you, I can tell that you are well trained. Now, how many have been dancing since you were little? You have. Oh, hold on. You, you actually going to speak? Yeah. They actually yeah. talk. How long have you been dancing? Um... This will be my, I think, like fifth year dancing. And you've been dancing for how long? Um, I think since I was nine, I so, want to say. Very good. Who's been dancing since they were younger than that? How long have you been dancing? Since I was three. Oh, my gosh. Three. What kind of dancing were y'all doing at three years old? <laughs> Well, we would do like ballet, you know, learn how to do first position, second position. We would do some jazz. This is very impressive. You were on your toes at three years old. Who else? Yes. Yes, I've been dancing since I was three. This will be my 11th year. And what type of dancing is your specialty? I would say ballet. On your toes. Oh, my goodness. Anyone else? Who else? Yes. <laughs> These girls are very shy, ladies and gentlemen. That's okay. You're going to see just how amazing they are. What this, this show is to show you is just the hard work that it goes into them preparing for you to see them performing at the games and at the parades and different ensembles like that. So listen, we're so proud of you all and the work that you do. Of course, tell them who your, to, who your uh, sponsor is. Shelly McLemore. Shelly McLemore. She couldn't be with us today because she's shy. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, we just appreciate everything that Shelly's doing, working with these young ladies. You all are so impressive. We know that you all are doing other things outside of the band camp, just preparing yourselves to be uh, so beautiful and so graceful out there. And we cannot wait to see you all this season, okay? Any last words? This is the rowdiest bunch I think I've ever ever interviewed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this right here, this is the dance line and the majorettes here with the Raider Brigade. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now you have the opportunity to meet the Color Guard sponsor. She's a newbie here and also one of the captains. We're going to let them introduce themselves to you for just a little bit, and then we're going to talk about how the camp has been going. All right, we'll start with you, young lady. Erin Miller. Um, I teach biology here, and this will be my first year as the sponsor for Color Guard. Well, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> now, Thank how, you. how is it for you? How's the transition been for you? Well, I've been here going on four years, mm -hmm. but this will be obviously my first year with the girls. Mm -hmm. um, they're great. They listen well. They do what they're supposed to, and they have some really good captains that are all seniors. So Now, how many seniors do you have here? Nine. Nine seniors mm -hmm. out of how many girls? We've got 27 total. Wow, so you've got a lot of leadership there. Great leadership. They even did a leadership camp, so how they're ready. How cool is that? They're ready. All right, so these are, this is one of the leaders right here. I'm Kristen Gaddis. A uh, senior, I guess, and then uh, this will be my sixth or seventh year doing guard. I've been doing it since eighth grade. 
Wow, that is fantastic. So now, Christy, now tell me. So as a captain, what are your responsibilities? Oh, Lord, I have to. <laughs> there's so much. You have to be, like, very, very responsible for all the paperwork that the girls give you. You have to know all the girls' names. Mm -hmm. It is so hard to learn 27 girls' names over, over the years. But um, also, you also have to be there for them as well. You have to be there right there beside them. You have to be their support as well as they are your support. Um, I mean, the freshmen, they're, they're great. I'm so, so happy for them. They're, they're having so much fun. Um, Let me ask you this. So here it is. So you've been here for so many years, yeah. and you've got some freshmen. Of course, you've got mm -hmm. a lot of seniors, but then you've got a lot of freshmen. And so um, tell me, what do you do to kind of get the, the freshmen, you know, um, integrated? Well, we into have a Facebook. Mm -hmm. We have a Facebook page. Um, Again, this camp right here kind of gets them in, gets them going. We yeah. put all of the routines online so they can watch them. Mm -hmm. We try to go bowling, to the movies, do things together to where we get to actually learn each other mm -hmm. outside of just the camp, yeah. things like that. So. so this is like a family. Very much. Very, very <laughs> much. So, uh, family of all girls. <laughs> oh, my <Ooh>. Lord. <laughs> You've got your hands full. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> You've got your hands full. Now, we've been watching you guys doing some of your routines now and, and some of the songs. Mm -hmm. Tell us how that's been going. The routines are going really well, especially for the third day. I'm really, really surprised that they are getting cleaned as fast as they are. Mm -hmm. First day, it was kind of iffy about the new tosses for the girls, but they're they're getting it. They're, they're getting it. <laughs> now, as I'm looking at this, you know, somebody might look at you and say, oh, wow, that's easy. But oh, no. really, this is not an easy. I'm having to learn. I'm having to learn how, and I'm telling you, that bar hits you, it hurts. Throwing it in there and catching it, it's weighted, so it's hard. Now, do you think you guys could teach me a little something? Probably. Oh, grab a <laughs> it ain't that hard. Hold on, woman. <laughs> okay, I want you. I want them to teach me something in just a little bit. But let's meet the other captains, okay? All righty. All right, just a moment. All right, here are two more young ladies who are leaders. Uh, we're going to let them introduce themselves. Hi, darling. Hi. How Bunch of familiar faces. Okay, we'll start with you. Talk to us. Um, my name is Caitlin Weeks. I'm a senior and I'm the captain this year. And I've also done middle school color guard and this will be my fifth year on Ka color guard. Caitlin, yes, fantastic. Are you enjoying this? Oh yes. A lot of hard work, a lot of sweat, but I love it. It's great. <laughs> love watching you too. Thank you. Love, love. All right, your turn. Uh, my name's Peyton Coleman. I've been doing this for five years as well, since eighth grade, and I will be our weapons captain, which means I will be over our rifle and our saber this year. Oh, my goodness. Now, girls, we're talking about there's a lot of freshmen that are here. What are you all doing as leaders to kind of help them now? I mean, I know you have your different responsibilities as captains. What are you responsible for? Um, me, personally, is pretty much... Um, getting the girls together, um, getting them to know each other, mm -hmm. paperwork. Um, when Miss Miller can't be there to right. do anything, she calls on me to, you know, come in and help mm -hmm. and assist her. So when is when is when it's the season? I mean, are your lives pretty busy? Yes, um, especially when you're not doing just color guard. When you have college and drama things that you're constantly mm -hmm. taking care of. There's mm -hmm. things to do all the time. How do you keep it together? I mean, because, you know, <laughs> as we're looking around here, and we've been all over the campus. You've got volleyball going on. You've got drama going on. You've got football going on. You've got yeah. band. You've got so much. And if you're involved in a lot of things. Yeah, uh, it can be challenging, definitely. But just making sure that you can make a schedule and stick with it and balancing out everything eventually mm -hmm. gets it pretty easy. And you know we're catching you guys in your element to where you're like please don't get me on camera we don't <laughs> like how we're looking and some were like I don't have on shoes I don't have on makeup. This is to show them about the process of you all getting ready and you know and you all make it look so easy. Yes ma'am um, it's a lot of hard work a lot of people when they see us on the field they're like you know that's easy, playing the instrument, that's mm -hmm. easy. But, you know, we're here for two weeks during the summer. And yeah. then after school, a lot of times working and cleaning routines and setting mm -hmm. charts and things like that to be as perfect as we can. Oh, my gosh. Well, listen, now, 
I'm going to be one of your guinea pigs. I'm going to let you all oh teach me, teach me a little bit about how to do these flags. Okay, how okay. to twirl them. All right. Well, just remember, it's not always as easy as you think it is, mm -hmm. but work hard and you'll get it. And see, and that's the thing. We know it's not easy. A lot of times, you make it look so easy to yeah. people like ah, mm -hmm. twirling the flag, and then you drop one. It's like, oh. but that's not an easy thing. So yeah. you're going to see in just a moment. You all are gonna, you know, work with me, mm -hmm. work with and I will be one. Of, what do you call yourselves? A flag girl, color guard member, flag girl, color guard member. All right, <laughs> I'm going to be a color guard member in just a few minutes. We'll be yeah. right back. Have you been putting off going to the doctor for your annual wellness exam? Let's face it, none of us are as young as we used to be. Did you know that all health insurance plans are required to cover preventive and wellness at no cost to you and your family members? So give us a call at Clements and Keene Insurance, 272-8019, and you can be well on your way to wellness. All right, ladies and gentlemen, these ladies have agreed to show me how to twirl these flags because sometimes people think that it's very easy, but we're going to show you how it's done. Are we ready? Sure. Okay. Somebody's got to get my microphone. I need an assistant. <laughs> Thank you, Sugar. But stay close, okay? <laughs> All right. Tell me where. This one you can use. Yeah. Okay, here we go. All right. Right, put your hand at the tape, your right hand, mm -hmm. put your thumbs up, All right, you're going to stand, I'm going to stand over here, okay. and you just watch, okay, go in front, it's, a, it's a called a butterfly, mm -hmm. go up behind you, oh, we're doing, what? What we're doing a butterfly, okay, there you go, and now take it behind your head. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you okay. do it first, okay, you do it. do it first. Okay, Ready? you do it first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Step back. <laughs> Wait, do that again, do it again. So you're going to go up, and then uh -huh. you're going to go straight over, and then drop it behind you, and in front. Oh, wait a minute now. You just did it. I did it again. Did I do that? All right, ladies and gentlemen, these girls are going to twirl rifles, and uh, I myself am not going to because it's very hard, and I've injured myself twice. So we're gonna watch you girls and, sh and show you show them um, just how amazing you really are and just the skill that it requires at what you do, okay? Are you go, I'm gonna move. <laughs> Get in your formation. All right, we ready? That is so impressive. So impressive, do that again. Oh my God. I want to try it so badly, but I'm terribly afraid. If you're going to try it, don't do the strap because it'll throw you off. You want to borrow my gloves? No, I'm not going to do it because I'm not going to injure myself. You girls are the professionals, and we're so proud of the work that you do, okay? Listen, keep doing great things. The community is proud of you all. We cannot wait to see you all perform, and we know that all this hard work is going to pay off, all right? Good to see you all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here are the fantastic drum majors of the Raider Brigade. Hi, ladies. How you doing? Doing very good. We want both of you to talk to us a little bit. I mean, you girls have been working together for a little while. And of course, uh, with band camp well on the way. All right, so talk to us a little bit. We'll start with you. All right, my name is Michaela Brady. I am the drum major here at West Orange High School. We are so thrilled to begin our second year together. And it's going good so far. Everyone's catching on quick. Mm -hmm. Positive now, attitudes, everything's great. Very good. Now, congratulations, our second year as, as a Thank drum you. major. Tell us about what you, instrument you play and how long have you been playing? Okay, I play baritone. This is senior year and I have been playing since the fifth grade. Um, it's, it's interesting, I've swapped between <laughs> trumpet, French horn, and baritone 
all in between that period of time. So you play a plethora of different things. Yes, ma'am. So being a drum major and having played all different types of instruments. It helps a lot. Absolutely. Helps a lot. Absolutely. All right, young lady, your turn. Yes, ma'am. Well, I am Wynn Bracewell, and my parents are Michael and Jill Bracewell. Mm -hmm. I play the trumpet. I have since fifth grade, and I'm a part of the wonderful jazz band here. Fantastic. So you know how to jam, huh? Oh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Now tell us about how your experience has been um, being a part of this band. I, I honestly think that it's the best band in the world. Um, our band director, Michael Dukes, he's mm -hmm. just so wonderful. He's so encouraging. Um, he really stresses that band is a family, mm -hmm. and I it really feels that way. Mm -hmm. um, all of my best friends, for the most part, are in band, and it's just amazing relationships. Absolutely. And let's talk to you a little bit now. So she says it's like a family. And, you, and, and as you were first introducing yourself, you're like, we've been together for two years now. <laughs> <laughs> and so you all are a family. Yes, so talk about what your experience has been like. It's, it's had its up and downs, but mostly ups. I mean, uh, like we've mentioned, it's a mm -hmm. great family. We all learn together. It's great uh, life learning lessons. We mm -hmm. learn a lot through it. It's not just coming, sitting around, playing music. Right. We learn a lot. In your positions as drum majors, that's a, a whole big responsibility. Yeah. I mean, you know what I mean? Because when we see you, we see the finished product. We see you girls, you know, wow. <laughs> Have you always aspired to be a drum major? Um, I remember, I think in fifth grade is when I started coming to football games and I saw the drum majors waving their arms around. <laughs> and I, I thought, you know what, I want to do that because I always knew that I wanted to be in band and I wanted to play the trumpet, mm -hmm. but whenever I saw the drum major, they just looked like they were having so much fun. And I yes. thought, that is what I want to do. <laughs> now, did you feel the same way? Of course. Uh, <laughs> around the same time, too. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's great. You see them, they're up there slinging their arms around mm -hmm. and you're like, that looks like fun. They're wearing sparkly uniforms. What? What more fun could it be? But you know what? There's more to it than that, though, <laughs> isn't it? Oh, yes, I've tell definitely us, realized. Tell us about what goes, in, um, goes on and, and is involved in becoming a drum major and perfecting it. Well, we have a big audition process. Oh. It's, it's, um, it includes an interview. We have mm -hmm. to conduct to a piece of the band director's choice. We have to do a thing called the pattern, which wow. is all of our time signatures. <laughs> yes. Um, and we have to march. We have to have some of the best marching skills in the band in order oh, to get wow. it. We have to work really hard to perfect that. And also vocal commands are a part of that, too. Wow. So there is a lot. Now, yes. was there a lot of stress involved for you when you had to go through this audition process? And how many people were involved? <laughs> um, it just varied. But this year, we had a good bit. Um, um, it went very well. As we were auditioning, we got time to bond together, mm -hmm. which is Fantastic, because some of the ones that didn't make it ended up being leadership with us as well. Very good. So now, it carries over. So you had to audition for this year as well. Yes, ma'am. So you're telling us that you are two-time drum majors by, you know, doing well with the auditions. Yes, ma'am. We're so impressed with you too. So you two have to have, be, have, to have high energy, right? Oh, absolutely, because um, we really believe that if leadership is feeling down, then the band, the mm -hmm. band is going to reflect however the leadership, whatever emotion the leadership is giving off. Yeah. So we have to be you know, happy, positive, lots of energy all the time in order for the band to perform well. Absolutely, and of course your band is like 240 strong. Huge. Is there a huge <laughs> adrenaline rush when you're about to perform? Most definitely. Um, our first performance, I know I was terrified and I got up there and I was climbing up the ladder and I probably could have fell if I had uh, <laughs> just made one, one misplacement, but it was great. As soon as we started, all the worries went away and you could see it all coming together. It was that's, great. That's right. So when we look at you girls, you know, we're already thinking, oh, these girls are the top stuff, right? <laughs> you're up on the ladder. You wear, what do you wear when you're, as the drum majors, what, do you, what is your outfit? We have um, sequined tops. That we wanted to look a little bit different than the yeah. band's uniform. Kind of stand so out we, a little bit. Yes. And we wear, um, black pants just we want to have a kind of sharp uniform look mm -hmm. but we also want to stick out a little bit so you can tell that we're not just normal band members absolutely well listen we look forward to seeing you girls this uh this season we know you're going to do well and you know Thank this you. this show is just showing how you all prepare you know without your sequin tops <laughs> <laughs> and your ladders that you climb lots of sweat <laughs>
<laughs> it's a dirty job, honey. Yes, no but the end result is amazing. Oh, it's so worth it. So it's a pleasure meeting you both, and we'll see you girls on the field. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Building relationships is as easy as FSB. For more than 100 years, Farmer State Bank has been helping people just like you. Integrity, commitment, service. That's Farmer State Bank. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Farmer State Bank, Lawrence County's leader in hometown banking. <laughs>